Hi, Phil Plate from the Bad Astronomy blog here, and I have a mystery for you. And it has to do with comets and coronal mass ejections. Correlation, causation, or coincidence? Ah, here we have a comet. Here we have the Sun. Now, comets orbit the Sun just like planets do, except their orbits are very elliptical. It brings them in close to the Sun, and they go back out into the solar system, and sometimes it takes them decades to come back again. But there's a special class of comet called sun grazers, and they get really close to the surface of the sun, hence their name. And sometimes they skim the surface, go around and come back out, and they survive, but they've evaporated a little bit, and over time they eventually disintegrate. Sometimes they come in and get close enough that they finally do disintegrate, and we don't see them again, or they come in and they hit the sun. So, what does this have to do with anything? Well, the sun is active. It's constantly blowing out material. And there's a special type of material it blows out called a coronal mass ejection. This is essentially a magnetic explosion off the surface of the sun. And you can see this in satellite imagery. Huge explosions of material blasting away from the sun. The thing is, sometimes we see comets coming in, and then we see coronal mass ejections. Are they related? Well, on October 1st, a comet came in, came very close to the sun, and then a coronal mass ejection happened right after it. And as it is, we have a few views of it, and we should be able to solve this mystery by looking at them. This first video is from the SOHO satellite, which essentially has the same view of the sun that we do here from Earth. There's the comet moving in from the lower right. It goes behind an occulting mask, which is a metal circle which blocks direct sunlight. The white circle represents the size of the sun. And then boom, coronal mass ejection. So let's watch this again. You can already see material streaming away from the sun. That becomes important in a second. The comet's heading in, goes behind the occulting mask, and then we don't know what happens. We don't know if it hits the sun or goes around or disintegrates. But then a few minutes later, bang, coronal mass ejection. The second video is from the stereo satellite, which is orbiting around the sun from the Earth and has a different angle on this entire event. There's the comet going in. It disappears. Coronal mass ejection. Now let's watch that again at half speed. Now look, there's a coronal mass ejection coming off the right-hand side of the sun long before the comet gets near it. So now there's the comet coming in. Now watch this. Off the left-hand side of the sun, another coronal mass ejection. The comet's coming in, and look at the angle it's coming in at. It doesn't look like it hits the sun. It may disintegrate. It may go around. We don't know. But then finally, there's the coronal mass ejection again. We even have video from a third satellite, Stereo B, which is behind the Earth's orbit around the sun. And again, you can see the comet, this time from this angle, coming in from the lower right. There's that first coronal mass ejection long before the comet's near the sun. It goes behind the occulting mask. It looks like it misses the sun. And then there's that final coronal mass ejection. So where does this leave us? Well, in the videos, you see the comet come in and you see the coronal mass ejections, but one of them happens long before the comet gets there. And we have tons of videos of coronal mass ejections happening when there are no comets around at all. And we see comets going past the sun and even hitting the sun with no coronal mass ejection activity at all. So it seems to me that the two things are unrelated, but we can't know for sure. We have to keep observing the sun. We have to keep looking at these comets as they go in, see if there's any way they could be related. In the end, I don't think so. I think it's coincidence. Coronal mass ejections happen quite a bit, and so it's just a matter of time before you get a comet and a coronal mass ejection lining up totally by coincidence. So I think they're unrelated. 